Welcome to our second game of uh, Training Command. We've got the German 21st Panzer continuing their advance. They won their successful uh, scouting mission yesterday. They're now probing the edge of uh, Ramviel. Uh, we, we can see on the table is uh, our patrol markers uh, for the patrol phase. Here we go. We've got some, uh, we just use some German motorcycles as our proxies for our patrol markers. And if we look down the table, we can see the road going towards Ramviel where it splits in two. It goes past a piece of woodland, and some hitch lines uh, around, and then we've got Ramville itself uh, with a major house uh, inside some walled fields, uh, and then the edge of the town. They're meant to be farm buildings, but uh, I really like my Normandy buildings. These are old rapid farm mill buildings, I think they were made possibly by uh, one of the makers of the um, rapid fire rules. I certainly bought them quite a number of years ago now. Um, I think it might have been even Colin Mumford, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, really nice buildings. That's the table. We'll just carry on going around the table for a shot of the, de the game today. So this is what the Paras will be defending. And the Germans are pushing up from, uh, from that end of the table. All right, we'll get on with the patrol phase. Okay, we're on turn one. And Charlie has kept up his usual uh, uh, trend of rolling sixes. This was his chain of command dice, yes, no less than four sixes. So he uh, rolled a random event and uh, he's forced me to deploy one of my units. Fortunately I've got some light mortar teams so it doesn't do too much damage. So I deployed my first parachute light mortar team uh, into the village here. So they're on the edge of Ramfield. Whereas Charlie has now started moving forward, he's deployed his first section uh, on the edge of the orchard uh, and starting to uh, do an approach march towards Ravel. Very brave out in the open there. I'll see if I can put some Brens on them next turn. All right, Charlie will get next turn though, so because uh, he rolled four sixes, so we'll do his activation dice now. Right, Charlie has been very tactical he, with his double move. He uh, then got his junior leader to accelerate this Panzer Grenadier platoon, and they've captured one of the Paras jump off objectives, uh, which reduced the Paras morale by one. They are somewhat exposed and open in the field, so Charlie then deployed a second battalion here in the woods, second battalion, uh, a second squad here in the woods, and has put them on tactical to provide covering fire. Meanwhile, they're waiting to see what might emerge from the woods themselves, uh, also, or from the edge of the village. Um, so I have now activated, and I have activated a section of paras here. Unfortunately, they took a lot of casualties in the last game, but they're going to open up from the wood line uh, at these Panzer Grenadiers in the open. Hopefully I can do some damage back, pay the Germans back for the game that they so roundly thrashed me last time. So we'll do the firing, and then Charlie will return fire with his unit on Overwatch. So another good roll by Charlie. He gets a double turn and uh, three activations of his junior leaders. And uh, if we look at the firing, the British Paras popped up in the hedgerow and opened fire with their Bren and their rifles and their submachine guns, the Stens, at that German Panzer Grenadier platoon, but unfortunately caused no kills, just three points of shock. So uh, they're also far from being pinned. Uh, and Charlie does now need to do his Overwatch fire back yes. against the Paras, so we'll do that now. We missed doing the Overwatch uh, at the end of last turn, but uh, we will allow Charlie to, uh, to keep his activation rolls. Uh, but we'll do the act. Uh, we'll do the Overwatch, and then we'll get on with his next turn. All right, Charlie's managed to pull off a double turn, um, and he has brought on uh, in the uh, end of the previous turn his uh, two half tracks. Uh, one has got a squad of infantry loaded in it. The other one's carrying a seventy-five millimeter support gun, and he has rallied off shock uh, in two successive rounds off this squad here, and they're exchanging fire with the paras behind that wood line. We're now on the second uh, set of firing and Charlie's done much better this time and he has an enormous number of dice to roll. Let's see what we get. Five, uh, four and fives are shock so and six is a kill. One kill? Yeah. I've got a lot of shock. Five shock. Five and shock and one, one kill. kill. So that unit is now gonna be pinned because they already had five shock. In fact, they may indeed be routing. So I'm going to see what happens. He is just a genius. He's just come off a double turn and he's just rolled another double turn. So this is two double turns and a four sixes, which is also a double turn, 
uh, role in the game so far for Charlie. So I've barely had any action, and he's still doing well. So he's now brought his junior leader on. I'll just go around here, see him a bit better from the sunlit side. So he's now brought his senior leader on in his armoured column that's moving forward. But actually, his Panzer Grenadiers in the wood look like they're going to do much of it for him. This section up here has laid down really effective fire power and broken the paras that were by the hedge, uh, causing 10 shock on them in two rounds of successive firing because of the last double turn, and caused them to break. So they only actually lost one casualty, but they've broken off the table, and that was the only intact section. The paras have responded by throwing everything possibly they can on, but I think they're probably on the point of withdrawing. So they've now deployed, I don't know whether you can see him, we have a sniper in the building. Um, no, you really can't see him. He's in that window. <laughs> and then we've deployed another Bren team onto the roof along with the senior leader. So they'll have one more go at causing some casualties on these attacking Panzer Grenadiers, but I don't think they're going to hold out in Ramble much longer. Uh, and we've lost a jump off point, and we've lost uh, a, a squad, uh, and our junior leader also happened to be picked off by Charlie as well. So with that, our morale has tumbled from nine to four. Okay, a view of the, the latest round. Charlie's still got his Panzer Grenadier squad providing some covering fire from the woods here. He's then been aggressive and moved his armoured Panzer Grenadiers forward, uh, infantry leading and the support gun following. Um, and this building here, um, after Charlie's last double move, he's managed to get his Panzer Grenadiers into the outskirts of Ramville. If we take the lid off, there we go. We've got a building full of Panzer Grenadiers. Opposing them, we've still got some paras in the outskirts of this building, and they did play their trump card. They deployed their Piat team. Uh, it needed a three, uh, I think it was, to hit the half track. Uh, and it, no, it was a five on 2d6, and unfortunately it missed. So it's now very susceptible to uh, counter machine gun fire from the occupants. Um, so I did then deploy some smoke from my light mortar teams. So my senior leader has dropped smoke onto my own Piat team to provide some uh, protection. I think it might be time for the Paris to withdraw. Right, at this point, um, Charlie's worrying whether my troops will hate him or the Paris have decided to voluntarily withdraw. The um, half-track with the 75mm gun has started uh, getting ready to open fire on the outskirts of Randall, still held by the Paris. The para squad uh, in the uh, SD251 has bailed out and will start providing suppressive fire and the machine gun in the half track this turn fired and put some suppressive fire down on the building. And we've also got all of these uh, Panzer Grenadiers who are in this building who are in a position to jump into the next building in Randville and the Paras haven't got anything to do about that, at which point they'd be cut off. So that's it, Paras lose the second game. 21st Pans are making great progress as they approach uh, Randville. We'll see what happens in the next game. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next instalment in the campaign.